Well, welcome back, everybody. We have started our annual Anchored in Tradition segments where we get to show you some of our favorite holiday dishes. We have a treat. News for Tucson, John, overall making a special dish for us. That's right. It's a family tradition. Not from my family, though. It's a family friend. Uh -huh. Shella Colson supplied us with this uh, recipe. Corn casserole. Really tasty yeah. stuff. Two eggs. You get to crack those. Okay, I get to crack get these. Started, all and, right. then, and then whisk them all up. All right. Matt. In yes. here, we have one can okay. of whole kernel corn strained. Dump that in there. Okay. Also, cream of corn, one can. Okay. You dump that in there. You can start mixing that up. All righty. We also have one cup of sour cream. We went fat free because Max says I'm eating too much lately. So we're going fat You're free. You're eating too much or she's eating too much? Well, no, she's saying I am. Oh, okay. Oh. Max, our <laughs> producer, who is helping me out with this, it's her mom's recipe. <laughs> and then we have one half cup of sugar. Keep mixing. Okay. We only have a couple minutes. All right, all right. I didn't right, know there was right. sugar in this. Okay. Now the last ingredient that's going to go in is this Jiffy corn muffin mix. Okay. But yeah. that goes in after all this. Also, over there we got one stick good? of melted butter. Yeah, pour that okay. in there. Pour okay. It in, where? in here. <laughs> it all goes in. All okay. six ingredients. Do you want the eggs in there? Yes. Okay. Here. Pour those in. All whisked up. Okay. Now, what do we do? We mix this up nice and that clean. Was you do that. Okay. And then okay. now, what do we do? We're going to pour in the Jiffy muffin. The whole mix. thing. The whole thing. The whole box. The whole thing. Okay. The whole shebang. Pop it in there. I don't want to like spill it on your soup. Now, if you want to make the, you know, you can add in your own ingredients if you'd like, like uh -huh. green chilies. Green chilies. Ooh. That'd be good. That'd be really good if you want to. Or even you could add some maybe bacon. Bacon would be good. Bacon would be really Whatever good. you like. Once okay. you mix it all in, we have a pre-sprayed okay. pan. Okay. Mix, pour that in there. Okay. Uh, and then cooking wise, what? And then cooking wise, we gotta then put it in the oven and you're baking it at 350 degrees. I'm trying to remember, but I have it written down <laughs> right there. I'm in your way here. That's all right. Okay. Very nice. Good teamwork, yeah, cook guys. Cook one hour at 350 degrees. All right, and so this and is this the final is the product. product. And I know and Matt that's hot, right? just that's, brought this out to our fresh. studio. It's so. supposed to be hot. Here. Here. We didn't forget any of the oh, ingredients, we did it. but we forgot to it's warm nice it up. It's nice and cooked. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> take a bite. Mmm. Pretty tasty. That's really good, John. Now imagine if it were Very hot. tasty. It is, it's warm. Um, no, it is warm. Well, we tried to warm it up. No, it's warm, it's good. Pretty good. Delicious. Mm. Mm. This is really good, good job. And good job. Thanks, Mac. Mm-hmm. Mac, we're really <laughs> If you guys want to get this recipe, head over to our website, kvoa.com. We'll be right back.